scrolling. There we go. All righty. Well, in our since our last session. <laughs> oh, hold on. Oh no. That was weird uh echoing against myself in Discord. Uh but yeah, so um since our last session, you guys have completed a week of self-time or in small groups as you go about accomplishing different things, waiting to kind of see what was going to occur as the uh you had suddenly a bunch of free time on your side waiting for the next silver fang expedition to go out most of you stayed in murda completing some tasks here and there some of you meeting with old acquaintances others meeting with new ones and on the second day all of you noticed a collection of beams of light coming from all over the world heading directly towards the northeast no idea for some of you what was going on with it. Others having a bit more of an intimate knowledge of it. But as you uh, very intimate. completed your weeks, we get to the sixth day since you've been back. The Silver Fang is calling forward a few individuals to take care of a few things. And... Those of you that in Murda have been called to meet at the Iron Tower. Those of you that in Murda have been called to meet at the Iron Tower. You go there, and you are greeted by a few individuals. Roxas being first and foremost at the front, along with a few of the other guards <clears throat> that are there. Are all five of us, or yeah, all five of us there, or is it just all of you but Gene? Okay. The Roxas is there? Yes. This is the end of the week now, right? This is uh, the end between the two weeks. Is this the morning? Have we not done our training? This is the morning. You just woke up. <clears throat> oh, that's a good call. Right. As you're standing there, Roxas kind of looks out. All right, everyone, let's get ready. We're going to need to transport them to the dungeon, and we're going to need all hands on deck to get these goods off the cart. Huh? What's going on? Well, you remember the uh, bit of fun with Jeffrey over there. And you look over and you see the mage that had been caught stealing from the Iron Tower. Oh, I think I'm going to... Now with the that. new collar... And a set of eyes on him at all times as he is doing his transportation duties to get things to the front. I take well, it apparently is... they're going to be uh, bringing his accomplices in today, along with all the goods. So we're going to be going. Uh, apparently they should be coming. Ah, there's the cart now. You look down the road and you notice a very, very fast moving cart. Eldon, you notice feet and hands and other things flailing about on top of the cart, strapped down to it. Everyone else, you hear the screaming as it comes flying forward. All right, you guys. <laughs> what the yeah, fuck yeah. is going on? What the fuck is going on? Oh my god! This cart comes flashing forward, straight towards the tower. The set of horses very quickly trying to dig their heels in, as a strange gnome individual. <laughs> Goes flying off of the cart. It's 
landing with oh grace my God. right in I front knew of Roxas. <laughs> <laughs> the boy, Kyle's look at that, twenty five. <laughs> I hear uh, you have a delivery ready for you. Here they are. Oh, uh, shit. And you see that there is a collection of four individuals quite literally tied down on top of the goods and strapped and bound with nothing but rope. Who's here for the pickup? I guess we are, right? Is that my understanding? Alrighty. I'm going to need you to sign right here. Oh, fuck. Grog says. I want to sign um, shit. <laughs> and Rolex just kind of just walks up, grabs the paperwork, and starts signing away. Good work. Hopefully it wasn't too much issue taking care of them. Oh, not at all. They were all a bunch of pansies. Just went in there with my sword and... <laughs> it's an axe, I'll have you know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he swapped. You don't know. Uh, the great axe would not have worked in the place he had to go to get them. <laughs> What's your name, sir? <laughs> Why, I'm Captain Corkum Kyle Cobberock of the Kalari Swallow Guard. Pleasure to meet you. <laughs> Who might you be? Uh, Eros, uh, I think the party can speak for themselves, you know. Good to meet you. <laughs> This is so fucking meta. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, if you got the goods, I'm going to need to head back in about an hour. Apparently, there's been some fun going on with the orcs. Somebody's got to keep them in line. Yep. Thanks for the delivery. Yep. <laughs> Right. And as the Wizards of the Tower start unloading the cart, you see that there is a decent chunk of materials. Um, having had about three weeks to steal as little bit at a time has apparently accumulated to a very large load. Um, but eventually able to get everything off. Ralxis pays Corkum with a, a bag and thanks him for his service, and leads him on some of the uh, safe roads to get back out, particularly the gate here on the side, so that he does not drive like he was driving before through residential areas. <clears throat> oh, that, uh, and, that gnome seemed, uh, seemed very cool, you know? <laughs> <sighs> yeah. You just kind of see Rox just looking at him. I'm just glad he's gone. All right. <laughs> Alexis doesn't like my character. <laughs> <laughs> kind of the polar opposite of him. <laughs> Anyways, uh, appreciate the help getting the materials over, but main reason that we needed you all is up top. Aridel's gonna be waiting for you all. Oh boy. Um so no training this morning. I guess not. She didn't tell me we were doing anything different. Something happened overnight. Don't know the details yet. But apparently uh it was going to be important for all of you to be aware of. I guess let's go. Uh, by the way, did we uh, notice any of the inv individuals that I brought in? Uh, no, these are all out from Kalari. So, uh, oh. I don't believe you would be familiar with them. As we make our way up. So what happened with Jeffries? I got the tea, let me tell you. Uh, and I explained to them that Jeffries has been stealing and was sending stuff to people in. It was closer, right? It was in Kalari. Kalari. And uh, he definitely caught caught thieving and was given a choice in his punishment. Uh, either be punished directly by Roxas and Roxas's choice, or take a collar of servitude. And he chose the collar.
Well. What, uh, <laughs> how, uh, how did you, uh, come about this information? I have a very good assistant. Right. Um, <clears throat> I guess we'll head up then. So as you all make your way up the stairs, you get to the central chamber and Nihilus and Aris, you notice that on the fifth floor, which is usually the least populated, but usually still populated, is completely empty. And Nihilus, you notice that there are very strong magics protecting from any outside intrusion, whether it be of a scrying, listening, or vision nature. And this isn't normally here. This is not. What is going on? It's about to go down, I guess. Rain, I need you to make a intelligence saving throw. Um, you are having a very hard time maintaining your form on this floor. I see. Okay. You're still humanoid esque, but periodically parts of you start to slide out of place. Interesting. <clears throat> As you go into the next room, you're greeted by two individuals. The first being Aridel, and the second being Kyrie. <gasps> oh, hi. Kyrie is the first to speak up. Sorry for all the formality, but it's best that the Silver Fang not know I'm here yet. I won't be here for long. Why are you here? We're about to do something and wanted to set some, well, let you all know what was going on. Nihilus, with your passive insight, you notice that there's a nervousness that you're not used to feeling from her. have to do with the past couple a bit uh, actually a large bit but uh, to set the record straight the gods are finally on the move and will be contributing in ways that they probably should have been in the beginning. With regarding... Taking care of this threat. Astrin. Astrin, and I'm hoping in turn, the abyssal portal that surrounds the region as well. Um, so, is that what those lights were? Like, so, I, I don't know if he can answer, but was it <clears throat> the gods that went, was it because they had champions over, or? For a large amount of them, yes. Some of them were setting affairs or in order, so that, uh, while they're concentrating on this, things can proceed. And that's where I'll be going immediately after this conversation. So to let you all, we're planning on entrapping 
the entire continent to the north. We're going to try and make it where Astrin and his abominations can't leave. We can't stop the portals from bringing things in, but hopefully that will uh, be stemmed by those on the other side realizing that they're losing a battle that they can't win. Could he get through those portals? Could he... I mean, we could potentially be locking him in with just a supply of things to corrupt. It's a possibility, but we also don't have the methods of dealing with him just yet. This is a temporary fix. We'll be giving you about six months. It's not a fix, it's a blockade. After that time, we'll have expended most of our power that we have here on this world. When you say... Go ahead. I can't promise that it will... Well, most of us don't know what's going to happen. When you say we had to... Saying we're by ourselves in this, like, doesn't it not make sense to have some of the most powerful people thing with that if it's that big of a threat? That's why all of the most powerful beings on this planet are going to be dealing with that threat, while all of you take care of the ones that are down south. Oh, okay. I know it's a short timeline having all these portals around for hundreds of years, almost. But we can give you six months to get them all closed. And then all join together to fight the North. That is the hope. How many do we have? A good majority of them. Teen, not including the far. How far do we carry northwest? We're going to be blocking the entire continent. So the that would include that. Is that part of the continent? That is part of that continent. Okay. Yeah. What was what? We're at, we're trying to clear this continent in six months. And at this point, this is when Aridel starts to speak up. And this is why it's so important that we get things like this working. At which point she throws a ball at a small imp in a cage. Oh my god, the fucking imp in the cage. And it disappears. <gasps> we were close. Apparently there was a trick we needed to add to it. At which point Kyrie kind of gives a small smirk. Was the trick something to do with true magic? Oh no, quite literally it was uh, you need to target where the spell needs to go. And uh, to this you kind of see Aridel not quite blush but just kind of make herself busy suddenly. Can I insight check that? <laughs> sure. <clears throat> you are guessing that the solution was a simple one, but also a highly and easily oversi over, uh, overseen one. Okay. <laughs> was it low <low-key> creatures? <laughs> <laughs> Not quite, but yeah.
<laughs> Magic missile, actually. <laughs> so, as you can imagine, with a tool like that, still needs to be mass produced. Should hopefully expedite this process, but as you say, 19 portals in six months is a lot to do. Um, Irene. Is there anything that I can do about that? Um, with the time and whatnot? I would suggest using that hesitantly. The world's going to be very fat, fragile over the next six months. Particularly with time. Why? Why more fragile now? She holds up one of her hands. And it goes transparent for a moment. Shit, like with Mira? Like with Mira. Fuck. So fragile. Um, I take it, um, <clears throat> I guess I have a question for you. Are there particular standout gods that are not helping? Take it two, at least. Oddly enough, this is one of the few things that they all agree on. The Far Realm is far too dangerous to get a foothold here. Not to mention that no matter what they subscribe to, beings and abominations of that realm have no care for any of our desires or schemes or anything else for that matter. Yeah. We simply wish to take over. So we have near uniform consent on making sure that this doesn't happen. Morgan's gone. Well, yes, I killed him myself. Trying to fuse himself to the earth. I talked to Mr. about it. His spell didn't work. It's one of the reasons he was broke or stuck. The concern on that's gone then. I remember last time. That's true. We'll have to keep a vigil, but at the same time, I think we have enough to deal with at the moment. There's um, one other thing I needed to let you all know. Once we cast this spell, I don't know how certain things might change. Let's just say that things might get accelerated in other regards. I don't know how much time after the shield goes down before we'll have to take care of a different issue. At which point she'll be looking forward to Nihilus. I told them. So yes. The big oh, step okay. will be coming to its resolution sooner or later. And it seems much sooner than I had anticipated. Aridel kind of looks <clears throat> over all of you, particularly at you, Nihilus. And she's kind of giving you that we'll be talking later. <laughs> Look. 
Mm -hmm. I did not tell her shit. <laughs> well, I'm gonna well. get a magical spanking. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> So I know it's not much, but I thought you all should know what the stakes were and, more importantly, how much time you had left. When you cast the spell, will you guys be in there, trapped in there? Um, can you explain a little bit more how this spell to the north is working? <clears throat> Essentially, we will be holding the shield itself. This will... We're attempting to replicate the Divine Gate. But on a much smaller scale and without the power source that Ao has. So yes, we will be using ourselves as the focuses to maintain this barrier. Hmm. <clears throat> Uh, we did learn, I mean, I I don't know if my mother has told you, we didn't learn exactly what Astron is and if this helps at all with containing him. She gave me a copy of what you've discovered, which good work to both of you, although foolish to read something of his. It, um... In hindsight, <laughs> should have identified the book. I was going off of what Nihilus was saying. It wasn't magical, so I was reading it. I didn't think it was magical, but it did survive the fire blast. We really should have known. Yeah, I kind of see her doing an almost face palm like grab of her temple. This one survived the fire blast too, and I hold up like a um, <clears throat> a book with one page. Oh, I fixed him already. Good. <laughs> Although you deserved it for opening that. Yeah, I deserve a lot of things, but you know, as well. You do deserve a lot of things. I haven't seen one of those since I was a child. This is still Kyrie talking? It is. I'm trying to picture her as a child and it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> kind of seeing that face that you have on you. Oh, this is an early form of divination magic. You learn about your death, but at the same time, it uh, doesn't know how to tell you. So it just drives you crazy? Tells you. <laughs> For a mortal, it does. For us, it's something that we can learn over time. Well, I don't know how much more time I can spend here, but if you have any questions for me, now would be the time. Um, oh, holy fuck. Um, there's a couple things, actually. One, we be, would it just be us going to clear, close these portals? Like, to that, Aridel speaks up. Of course not. That's kind of the whole reason we're doing everything we're doing right now. Hmm. Um, do we have a better solution yet? Other than the forbiddance? Other than no. what Nihilus can do, the forbiddance, and what I can do? None that we know of. Yours carries more risk than mine. Did, um, <sighs> the, did that one guy, what, why does that one guy want to sacrifice himself? What's he not got? The one with. Are you going to try and do your orb? Yeah, I'm... 
a terrible idea. If you're talking about Will. Yeah, Will. He's a man that's quite literally lost everything. With the exception of his hatred. And rather than having a destructive pathway forward... To give you an idea, when we first met him, he was quite literally in the middle of the fields on the fire plane, fighting off elementals by himself. We don't know what this will do to his soul. We don't know if it'll be pulled in intact or if it will get shredded. We have no idea what this Probably will be do shredded. to him. If it's what the orbs were doing before, well, that's not entirely true. No, they were getting pulled in so she could feed on them, but they were being split. I think that can be to some degree. I think they could be part of the land decided to. Because, like, what had happened was it's like a three way split, but it should have only been a two way. If if the two way split it was one or if if the two way split still happens, it's gonna suck. It'd still be whole. Ask Azervan how it felt next time. You speak. Oh to no, him. I know I know what he said. But that's saying he can be whole. Pretty sure. There's got to be a better way. Of course there's better ways, but you have six months. I don't know. There's going to be there's going to be some portals that we had to close with. Them. There will be. Right, that we, we're not going to talk about it. Just have to have to go for it. This I don't agree with us. I can try to create one if this guy still wants. I can guarantee you that he will, but don't dangle a carrot in front of him. I'm not going to. I'm I'm just asking. You know I'm better than I do. <clears throat> I can make it, I can try to make it, sorry, if, if you think he'll just do it. So what I'll say about He's him is this, one. I can guarantee you he will say yes. But if he's saying yes, you'd better be damn sure that this is going to happen. I don't even know if I can make one. That's the other. Then I might suggest we start with that before we bring him in. Actually, sorry, what I'm going to do... Is I'm gonna cast and um intellect fortress on myself. Okay. Uh if this is dangerous, maybe not right now. I'm gonna cast intellect fortress. <laughs> okay. You have intellect fortress. I'm gonna go. I back up because I'm. I'm, I'm gonna. To I'm gonna give it. myself some space between me and the party and whatnot. I'm gonna try to create one. I'm gonna change to armor, seeing Alice be very, very <clears throat> cautious. Okay. I would like you to make an intelligence save, as well as an arcana check. Roll that. Uh, 
Mhm. You place your hand on your chest and you start willing an orb out. And you start to feel it entering into the palm of your hand. But you also start feeling yourself tearing apart as you're doing it. You wait a moment, reversing time slightly, just enough to change how you're going about it. This time far more comfortable. This time without losing any part of yourself to it. And a new orb appears in your hand. Uh, do I still feel connected to mine? You do. Do I still This is not the master orb. Do I feel connected to this? You do. I <laughs> I look to the rest of the party that's like, well worked. Still think it's a bad idea. I was one out of eighteen. But as Arban said, every time he closes the portal, there's a chance his soul gets shredded. The whole reason we started going out there, and I'm pretty sure was your original goal, was to prevent soul sacrifice. And this is going right back to what we've been doing. This is the thing. I wanted to help without. Oh, so selfish reasons. Of course. This is a terrible idea. Rain, Eldon, what do you think? It's an option. Like you said, it's an option. This should be considered. Okay, uh, I'll I'll put it I'll put it down like this. Right, we have six months. What have we done in how long have we been together as a group? Like four ish. Longer than that, I think. You be coming up on close to five months now. Okay, five I months. Believe. We've closed three portals. That's combined effort. If it's the full offensive, then it has to be done. It's like <clears throat> spend a shit ton of gold on the forbidden. That takes what a month. Accurate a month. Or two. That would be correct. Got your thing. Takes a minute. I've got mine. Takes a minute. Or are other options. What's this plan that we're we've been? That's to help with the creatures after a portal closure or to get to the portal to close it. If your additional copy orb closes a portal, will it banish the creatures? Will it, it work will. just like yours? Make an Arcana check. Mm -hmm. You're not sure. You feel like it should, but you're not sure. Have I? If you give me eleven.
fine. Well, you identify that, Kyrie, for being able to travel quickly before you had to leave. How far did you get rebuilding the Citadel? And if it's far enough to fly, if it's far enough long to be able to fly. And that is why I wanted to give you this. She hands you an orb. Much larger than the one that Arix just pulled out of himself. Place this into the core. And it'll fly. Can we get into the core? You can. Uh, for pilots, would you have any objections for us having Rumok pilot it? Any of my followers are more than capable of piloting the ship. I think he would get the most out of it. I think that would be a good choice. And actually... I'll do one more thing before I leave. Aridel, how much metal do you have? We're quite literally called the Iron Tower. <laughs> Very well. I'll have something special for you both. Who is she indicating when she says you both? Uh, she seems to be staring at you, and you are assuming thinking of Rumok. Oh, okay. Giving you the keys to the car. <laughs> I did appreciate seeing my temple was back where it belonged. Had to make sure it was at least upright. I know. You did blow it up after all. Well, gotta do everything big. That's what makes things fun. Speaking of which, I do need to make my way over, particularly if I'm going to be making a pit stop. Stopping. Make some adjustments. Okay. Well, wish you all the best of luck. And I hope that in six months' time we'll be meeting with, uh, hopefully, a good bit of news. <laughs> Kyrie. Mistra thinks your access to higher level magic may have sped things up. She thinks you have less than a year. I don't know if you got to speak with her before she left. I didn't get to speak with her yet, but... I know. It was a risk I always knew was there. But a risk that I thought was worth taking. Why don't you come with me? Just for a moment. I go with her. Okay. So Kyrie walks over to the window and grabs you by the waist and flies off to the north. What do the rest of you do? We're getting a flying city, guys. Cast and identify is what I'm doing. <laughs> Okay. I've been casting Identify this whole time. <laughs> so after you finish your 10 minutes, it does seem like it is going to work in the same way that you would expect. Yeah, it's going to work. Just, <laughs> just, Nihilus is gone, so it doesn't fucking matter. Uh, well, Aridel's there. Yeah, I know. Good. Yeah not there to argue with anymore. Yeah. 
Wow, so. it's crazy. No one's arguing with me. What's this? <laughs> so are we going to be moving forward with it then? I won't put it in front of him if you plan to take it away again. Where is he? Down the hall. Should be down third floor. His quarters are there. I don't want to give it to him if he's had a change of heart. If he has found, uh, if he thinks he can move on, then I don't think he should have it. If not, then... Well, as you know, anybody that joined the Iron Tower was always, always voluntarily. Yeah. Um... We should get them. Oh no. Very well. Oh no. <laughs> uh, Eldon and Rain, what would you both like to do? Do I come? Uh, well, I've got nothing else better to do. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> At the moment. All right. I, I hand it over to Aridel. Um. I'll be like, I kind of want to very well, but if he has decided that he's willing, don't take it away from him again. I'm not going to forcibly. Very well. well. As you go down to the third floor, you look about for a bit, and it's not hard to find him. As he is in his room working and practicing on some spells door is open what do you want um no one's stopping you as a dick <laughs> a little bit yeah um Coming from Morris. <laughs> kettle black. Uh, 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 so I'm gonna ask. Uh, so, what now? That we can't close portals. And we kill them all until they don't come anymore. What if we could though? What, you got some magic way of just closing them? No, it's just more... But it would be. It would be. Same way we were before. If we could, then we'd be taking care of it right now. But obviously, that's not an option right now. Still be willing to sacrifice yourself? Make an insight check. He doesn't answer you. He just looks you. And you can see in his eyes 
that he's almost thinking in an instant. You can also see in his eyes that he seems to think you're wasting his time. Um... Don't you want to keep going down the path of magic? Don't you still want to see the light at the end of the tunnel? Could you be any more cryptic? Fun. You know. <laughs> that pathway shut down long ago. What are you getting at, kid? Is a uh, is uh, Aridel in the room? She is not. I uh, I don't know. I was just curious. And um, I leave the room, and I tell her, yeah, I'd give it to him. All right. She nods, starts making her way down. Wow. Heading back to Kyrie's conversation with Nihilus. You see her carry you out the window. And she kind of goes down to the area that you know is one of the storage rooms. And she starts to cast a spell. And a massive amount of iron and other metals starts coming out of the storeroom tearing through boxes and walls and other things as she casts a very strong version of telekinesis on all of them we'll be needing these i can do that just on a much smaller scale <laughs> you'll get there eventually What are we doing? We're going to finish your ship. And she flies you up to the northern part of the city. And you so see that your temple which sits upon the giant piece of rock. Just underneath of it, you notice that she waves a hand and part of the rock splits away, opening into a cavern. Where you see a large metallic structure. Figured the flying castle was a bit much. So tried to go with something a bit more practical this round. Something that could fly with just one object. Probably a good call. One of the first things that you notice is a lot of the technology that's in this is far beyond something you've ever seen before. So, let me show you the bridge. Please. And as you go inside... Oh, come on. Uh, give me one moment. It decided it didn't want to be a friend. Mm-hmm. Oh, give me a moment. I'm going to have to resize the map. Oh, no. <laughs> it decided it didn't want to play anymore.
Well, you know what? This is going to work just fine for now. All right, I'll have to fix this the next round. <laughs> All right. Ooh. That is something. Where's yep. oh, the temple? This is just the mm. bridge, I think. Uh, this is the area just on top. So we'll be going in through here. And she leads you to this back area. Where you find... An area perfect for a sphere to fit. So if you place it there, I do it and then think with your mind, move and what direction you want it to go. I tell it to move up 10 feet. The entire rocky structure starts to shake as it pushes out of the stone that's encasing it. I might have said, and you see your temple sliding <laughs> off of the rock again, upside down beside the area. Son of a good job. <laughs> I'm did sure just... Boris can take care of that. Did you just knock your temple over again? Uh, is... She said it was done. She said to move it. You're not here. I know I'm not, <laughs> but I can, I can still laugh about it. Well, we'll deal with that later and you see her kind of casting and telling Voris that the temple has fallen off again and this time let's put it on the ground yeah maybe it shouldn't be on a flying ship oh we can meld it onto this just we needed to have it working first so yes this is what I was working on while you guys were away. It has a few different floors and enough sleeping quarters for about 30 people. So small portal closing crew. Something of that nature. It takes a lot of power to run. So once it gets to its destination, it's going to take at least a day for it to recharge. How long can it go before it needs to recharge? Most of this planet. You don't quite have the same technology that we had on Kryn or Oerth, so... Oh. Had to make do with what we had. Rumok was very emphatic about the technology gap. He was a bit of a... Uh, enthusiastic individual in that regard. Well, I'm sure he'll appreciate this. I'm quite sure he would greatly enjoy it. Hopefully you enjoy the new toy. I do, uh, but it's no replacement for its previous captain. You have the afternoon, do you not? I mean, I don't think they're expecting me back, but I thought you had to leave. Good. And Nihilus will be indisposed for the next hour or so. This is where you look through her eyes, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ray, what's Nihilus doing what right now? She's taking a long time, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna say, it's so hard not to see you. <laughs> I'm going to accidentally use those eyes and you're going <laughs> to see something you don't want to see. That's what I said. Oh, <clears throat> look at this. Here. So concurrent, while this is occurring, we are going to travel halfway across the world. Where Jean gets eaten by an ancient dragon. Shush. 
Is it my turn? It um, is. Before we extend it out, did uh um Rakeith give me ways to uh talk to him and everything? He did. He gave you a sending stone. Okay. Um before after like the first day, I wanna can I send him something? You can. Okay. Um can I so it's still stuck to the twenty five words? It is, and it works once a day. Okay. Um I know you're busy, but if you can start collecting holy holy water as much as you can. I think that's twenty three. I think we can do that. Uh, what would this be for? Well, you can't respond. Nope. Tell me tomorrow. Okay. So, and I would assume those all those investigation checks were to see if I... Were we just traveling in tunnels this whole time, or did we ever for a encounter... a large chunk of it. So you encountered remnants of a city and different aspects of civilization that once was but within any of the rooms or corridors or anything there was no nothing really of interest per se or was that what my inv investigation checks were for interest warish but not of interest to your search okay as, as long as he's getting stuff out of it which, okay, let's go ahead and go to your map. Okay. So, I'm black. It's dark. Oh, let me fix that. I need to throw myself down on this. Where the hell am I? I don't know where I need to put myself, but wait, your map shouldn't be black at this point. I I see nothing on the screen. Let me fix that. Dynamic light. Fog of War is not on. I can click my character, but it's just a black box. How about that? Nope. Or refreshing heels. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll Fresh? just refer that. Oh. I was yeah, refreshing I the map myself. Let me refresh my page just in case. It'll work for us. Or should it be working for us as well? It should be if you guys are able to see it. I just see a black rectangle. Yeah, I just, it's still a black rectangle. Okay. What about now? Rectangle. Nope. Same. This is very. <laughs> what about now? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Ominous. How about Ominous. refresh? I refreshed already. It's still the same. No. Okay. Everything's broken. So I'm going to purposely turn on Fog of War and see if that fixes it. Oh, yeah, it's no. fixed. Yep. I'm not looking anywhere's past, so I zoomed in super. Oh, oh it's literally just this one little block. Literally just that block. <laughs> okay. Checking all the other maps to make sure we're not going to run into this again. All right. Looks like all of them have it off. So yeah, okay. you are in the tunnel that we were talking about before, and you see a ladder leading its way down. Okay, so we haven't taken the ladder just yet. You have not. So is this the ladder or? That is. Okay, this is the way that we came through. The this way is where we came through to get to the ladder. Correct. And okay. if you go a bit beyond this is where the worked stone and the rushing river are. Okay. Okay. Okay, then for the second day whenever I sent him that or whenever it is. Um preparation for Dracolich. They dive bombed us. Let's dive bomb them. 
will talk once I will talk more once I get back. You just get a simple response back. I don't fully get it, but you're the holy one. I'll get it done. Okay. And then if I remember correctly, I said I was going down the letter first to make sure it holds me. And if it can hold me, it should be able to hold the other two. All right. So as you go down the ladder, you find yourself able to fit through, but it's a bit of a tight squeeze. Mostly due to your armor. But as you slide down, you find yourself... Again, with dirt below your feet. I'm too thick. Holy shit, this is tiny. These tunnels are tiny. They are. <laughs> Make an <Yeah. laughs> investigation check. Uh, I just letting you know, I have my uh, lights on, so I don't know how well that works with. So I can at least see 20 feet ahead of me. Okay. Investigation. Yeah. I will. Uh, yeah. Forget I have guidance now. Yeah, it looks like a tiny tunnel and you're just kind of working your way through it because your armor is just clinking against the uh, tight walls around. And I'm still kind of glowing from my... Oh. oh, wait. Look at this. And Shoran points out to you what seems to be a collection of footprints. Now added to by the three of you, but footprints nonetheless. Upon seeing this, does the footprints look fresh or old? Make a survival check. I'm going to guidance myself. Let's see, how would I go about guiding myself about this? You know what? My plus one, I can do this. Ah. You have no idea. A9. You still have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> you know, I'm not the best tracker, okay? Neither well, are the rest of your party. Nope. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> We're just a bunch of dragonborns. Okay, well, I guess I will creep along the tunnel. Yep, Shoran definitely did not get it either. <laughs> well, guys, if we die, I'll uh, see you in the afterlife. Well, nice you. Well, hopefully, uh... That'll be much later than now, because we just got to this point. Yeah, I know. Uh, if I continue down, do I... Okay, two paths. So you see that the tunnel... The tunnel? That the tunnel splits off in two different directions. If I follow the tracks, does it lead in any direction? Or my survival check wouldn't prevent me to do that? You're having a hard time <laughs> tracking much of anything. Okay, okay. Um... Let me think. Uh, fortunately, if I knew where Eldon was whenever I was at murder, I would have grabbed him, but he would disappeared. Oh, I fuck. Know. I totally I forgot to ask Eldon. <laughs> I got distracted. <laughs> um, I guess I'll continue going down. Nope. And I'll make sure that my uh, my two Dragonborn uh, friends stay with me. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh my god, there's traps! Or something. Never sent a paladin to do a rogue's job. Oh! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> These are fucking... Holy so god. as you come about, you suddenly hear... <laughs> as three darts come flying out of the far wall and smashing against you. They cause seven points of piercing damage and eight points of poison damage. 
I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Con- constitution? Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh... Okay. So that's while the poison starts to enter your body, it burns, but it's not able to take hold. Well, I should maybe I should have realized that they would have set traps up. <laughs> oh, where's Eldon and Rain when I need them? Hey, um, uh, uh, hey, Sharon. Would maybe. you like me to go first? I'm somewhat adept at this. Maybe. Okay. (laughs) And at this point, Shoran kind of starts looking about and let's see how much distance this has. Oh, that's a good distance. Okay. Um, whatever you do, don't touch the wall over here. Okay. Or that one over there. Or that one over there. Uh, make a history check. To see if I remember? <laughs> Do I really have the no. highest? Probably yeah. intelligence base. <laughs> Alright, let's see if Shoran does any better. <laughs> nope, not oh at all. Oh my god. <laughs> so you just pull the darts out and throw them on the floor. And... Continue your walk. Since this is poison, what I have... I'm assuming that's what the history check is for, correct? That was what the history check was for. Okay. Well, um, so this room looked to be inter- empty. I'm not touching the walls. Okay, well, uh, don't touch the walls in here, but it seems that this was set up as an ambush pit. Um, let's try the other direction. Okay. I'll head that way then. Things change up ahead. Looks like we go back to being in work stone. Oh, that's good. Do you uh, see any more blow darts? Not on this side. But if there's something like that up ahead, I'm going to assume there's going to be a lot more of that. He very carefully starts making his way forward. And all this time I still have light on, so it'll provide him some light. It's like you guys are invading an anthill. <laughs> it's super tiny, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Just a reference, how tall is um uh how tall did you make um Sharon in uh um, War Ash. Uh, War Ash is a bit taller because he is a full adult mm-hmm. dragonborn. Um, but I made, uh, I think I had Shoran at like six one or something like that. Oh my god, he's taller than me! <laughs> All right, so as he comes about this corner, uh, so we got a few different directions we can go. But these tiles look dangerous. If we choose the wrong direction, we're probably going to have an interesting day. You're saying like like there's like pressure plates or something like that? You see him grab a few stones off of the ground, throws one directly ahead of him. Nothing happens. Throws one to the right. Nothing happens. Throws it to the left. And the wall suddenly collapses, smashing the two stone plates together, destroying the stone as soon as it hits the ground. So yes, uh, dangerous. Okay, um... I guess I'll grab a handful of pebbles. You said uh, the front path and the right path didn't do anything. Correct. Okay. Um, The left path smashed you. Uh, I guess I'll go to the right path where the pebble was dropped that didn't cause it. 
and all the way we'll be tossing pebbles. All right. So as he goes about, um, I would like you to give me a strength check as well as a um, just general athletics check. Okay. Um, I will guidance myself on one of these. So this is how accurately you can throw these as well as how strong you're throwing them. So strength and athletics? Yep. Okay. I'll guidance the athletics one. Jesus Christ, what's with my rolls? <laughs> All right. So you got some really good pinpoint accuracy. You're not fully trusting your pebble as it bing, bing, bing against the floor rather than giving a nice smack like the one Shoran threw was. But Shoran starts walking forward anyways. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me go first. Make an initiative check. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> what's with my roll? You are not able to stop him in time. And he goes forward. Good. It seems to be working all around. There's a room here to the side. And there seems to be a torch on the wall. So, I mean, I guess throw a pebble in there to see. Okay. But let me go first. I'm pretty sure I may have more endurance. Okay. So go ahead and uh, give me one more strength check. Let's see if you can... Uh... Now that you've had that little bit of an adrenaline bomb. <laughs> All right. God, what the fuck? Damn. <laughs> oh, my God. So, yeah. You are welcome to walk in if you wish. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, here goes nothing. I will walk in. You walk into the room. And you see that there is just a small room around you. Along with another room on the end of the hall. And just this torch? And just this torch. Is, is there anything that I can see or look at the tor torch? Does it just look like an ordinary torch? Make tor an investigation check. Oh god, please, for the love of god. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a torchy torch. <laughs> the best kind of torch. Mm -hmm. The torchiest kind of torch. Oh, Jesus Christ. Real fucking good rules. Holy shit. These are some cursed rules. What are you talking about? Um, It looks like a torch. I don't see anything problem with it. What's down below? I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. As you walk between the two walls... I need you to also give me a strength saving throw. Oh my god, it's going to oh, crush no. me. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, as you jump into this region, you suddenly have the two walls on both sides of you start smashing in. You can see inside the room, which appears to be empty. But that is the least important thing on your mind as you push against these two walls, just barely holding them back. Shoran comes rushing in, grabbing hold of you and pulling you back. I was breathing heavy, like, how the hell did they have time enough to arm all these? I think some of these are here originally and then they supplemented them with something different do i notice any like potential accidents that would have befallen other people or is it just smooth clean surface it is very smooth clean surface uh, okay i want to try something can you i also notice give me one more investigation check 
Um, I'm gonna guide it myself by um. I'm interested just to see what it is. I'm gonna prick my finger and let a little bit of blood drop on the floor as okay. um, guidance to see. So go ahead and helps. make this an advantage. Okay. And your guidance, 14, not bad, not bad. So as the blood hits the floor, you notice that the floor absorbs it and pulls it in. Oh. What about, can I um take my mace and run it along the wall to see if it leaves a scratch mark? Sure. Make an attack roll. Attack in the wall, guys. Good luck. That's this. So as you attack this wall, it leaves a small gash for a moment. And then it refills itself back out. I'm going to mention this to uh, um, War Ash. Yes, I noticed this is definitely a Valkothin room. It seems to be self-repairing. Well, so far these are still empty rooms. Now I can understand why there's no sign of anything. The, f the place gobbled up anything. Uh, allow me to try something. And uh, you see him kind of mumbling to himself for a moment and pats his himself on the shoulder. And he starts to levitate off the ground. Oh, that pie would be helpful. He starts going about, puts a hand in front of the left pathway. Okay, well, it seems to be only if something touches the ground here. I mean, right, well, let me get my shields ready. And he floats over just a little bit. And the walls do not collapse on him. Okay. Good to know. Okay, well, I mean, I can get my wings out and uh, I can at least carry Shoran. Um, make an intelligence oh, check. Oh, wait, no, these are tiny ass rooms. I will. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> these are some tiny ass rooms. You would have a very hard time flying in here. Tiny rooms, gotcha. So Warash goes up to the north, taking a few of the pebbles that he had as well, throwing them down. This way seems to be safe. And then floats ahead. He throws some more pebbles directly in front of him, and this time causing the trap to go off. Directly in front of him? Mm-hmm. The one to the... Uh, straight from you, yes. Okay. Okay. Well, that only leaves one pathway. And as he moves on ahead, I can go ahead and reveal the rest of this one. He seems to find that he just has to zigzag back and forth to get over there. Shoran following behind. There seems to be another torch at the end of this hallway. And it splits in two again. Which way should we go? Is the whole pathway fine? Uh, let me squeeze past here and try. So Shoran kind of squeezes through, making his way up. Uh, don't step on the third panel. If I have to jump and I roll uh, athletics of negative one, I'm going to be angry. <laughs> you are rolling in athletics. <laughs> okay, let's see oh, if I can yeah. jump over a five foot panel. 
I'm gonna guide it to myself. I'm gonna like psych myself up, like jump up and down. I was like, I could do this. I got this. Believe. Don't let my armor weigh me down. Hey. Please. Nice. Oh, yeah. I mean, you're you very easily able to the clear the panels. The threes. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have a tunnel north and south. Um, the one to the south seems to go to a room, while the one to the north seems to veer off to the right. Uh, I mean, I might as well clean out everything. Let's go to the south one first. Okay. Um, Shoran goes back down but he stops just shy of the door. Looks around carefully. Then looks up at the ceiling. We don't want to go in here. Okay. There seems to be a lot of false rooms in this area. Now I will defer to your judgment. And I guess the only path left is north. Well, let's make our way. Right, okay. So, <laughs> I'm all right, so sure I'm going first? Okay. Yes. <laughs> With my rolls. All right. It's been a little bit since I've done an investigation. Let's see how he does on this next section. Not bad. Nice. With this negative two, Jesus Christ. So he looks about, okay, this room looks like it's safe to go into. And the first thing you notice is that this room as well has a torch. Do they all, do all these torches look identical? I would assume these three that I've seen. Make so another investigation check. Oh, come on. <laughs> They seem to be. Are they like lit by candle or or another way? Make an arcana check. Definitely can. <laughs> they, they've got to be oil. Something in there. Can I try blowing one out? Blowing sure. The, blowing the one in front of me out. All right. Go ahead and make a... Let's say constitution check on how much air you can blow. All right, you do decent. But as you blow, the flame seems completely uninfluenced by it. Okay, so it has to be a magical candle torch. Seems to be. Okay. Do I get anything else? Okay, more. It tunnel. seems the pathway to the north veers off. Shoran making his way up. Uh, the long hallway with another torched room at the end. And it seems that at some point it uh, veers down to the south again. Rash, do you uh, recognize any of these candles at all? Or are they just torches? Well, they seem to be a uh, form of magical torch. Although how they've lasted for so long is quite miraculous. <laughs> and that he means... starts pulling one off of the wall. The one in this room right here? Mm -hmm. Hard to assume. And when he pulls it, you hear a clink. <laughs> Nothing seems to happen. But as he's pulling it off, the torch dims. And then when he puts it back on the wall, it lights back up again. Interesting. Seems to be getting its magic directly from the structure. Does magic usually last 3,000 years? Mm, it's possible, but normally not for that. Well, usually has some sort of diminishing. Is there could be like some so, sort of core that kept 
upkeep and get powered. But it's possible. I guess the only way to find out is continuing down deeper, wouldn't we? I would assume so. Well, Sean, does the pathway look fine or fraught with uh, more collapsing walls? Seems perfectly fine. Okay, so uh, <laughs> let me go first then. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I'll go. I'll go up to here to, for the seven. Okay. As you go up to there, you see there's another room down below. And as you are 20 feet away, you notice that there is another ladder heading down. Okay, I've, I've seen Shron do this a couple times. I'm going to go right here and look in to see if I can... I myself. need you to make a dexterity saving throw. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you kind of go in and you notice that it is a very small room with another small room connected to it. Could be also another death room. And you stumble forward just enough as the walls behind you close. They reopen when you are no longer there. I'm okay. Uh oh yeah, this wall seems trapped. That's Sorry, trapped. I missed wow. that. Wow. <laughs> no, that's, that's okay. Very I insightful. Can... I can do this. You know, I, I I got this next one. If there's a pattern here, I'm going to jump over this one. Oh, okay. Go can ahead I... and make an acrobatics check. Acrobatics. Athletics. And you jump over it beautifully. Do I see anything in this room? Ah, another empty room. That's fine. Um... Still pristine white walls, white, uh... Still walls. pristine. Okay, um, I guess I'll jump back. Alright, go ahead and make another athletics check. Still enough. You jump over. It's a little less graceful this time. And I guess I'm gonna do the bunny hop over this one as well. Okay, go ahead and make one last athletics check. And beautifully done. Able to catch yourself <laughs> on the other wall. I don't know how you're able to jump with all that armor on, but good to see you can. I don't know either. I'm sweating bullets over here. <laughs> all right. So you get to the last of the rooms and you notice the ladder going down. And I think that will be a good place for us to take a break. Okay. <laughs> be right back. Okay, I'll be right back as well. Dancing dragon. Gotta ask, uh, hold on about... Uh... Our friend. I know stuff that happened to Eldon. Talking about our, our friend. Though. <laughs> oh, our friend. Yeah, our and friend. she really is. We partied with her. Time. Wow. Just like Amelia. Amelia is a great we time. We did look know? for you while we were at the bar. We should have invited you, Rain, but we did look for you. <laughs> yeah, so that, uh, they never turned up. By the way, really? Actually, well, I'm gonna ask you in character in a bit, but yeah. I uh, tried I to. Okay, to be fair, my character was very inebriated at the time, but I tried to dissuade her from contacting you. Yeah, by Maybe fucking throwing her focus on me. But I no, cut I that shit that, off. I said that Eldon was very boring. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's true. Then you also said, I think you're looking at the wrong spot. <laughs> I was like, I don't remember that. You I was fucking really tired. said it. <laughs> and she's like, what do you mean? And I just fucking continued the conversation like it was nothing. <laughs> That's what and happened that. there. Okay. But yeah, Eldon, I read somebody's mind out in town and I know stuff that you did. I barely Ooh, remember what I did. <laughs> Oh, I need to write down that kid's name. Stuff he did. Oh. What? Memes. Oh, fuck. Stilted my chair off. <laughs> I was about to say, are you okay? 
be on stream <laughs> in a second. Oh, I pinned it, but thank you, Tails. Mm -hmm. For some reason, is, are you seeing Murda still? Hold on. Blaine? Oh. oh, you are? Oh, for some reason, I see on the stream that you're still looking at Murda. Have you paused it? No. Is your shit the internet froze it? Oh, that's fucking weird, dude. <laughs> Is it saying th uh, seeing the same thing for you? Oh, I my fucking overlay probably broke. I see your like That's mouse so going weird, back and because, forth. That's so weird because like, what the fuck? Okay, I'm back. Because I see the oh, I catacombs see and I see the fucking rolls. Oh, that's I. Uh, give me a second. Try to. <laughs> this sometimes happens. It doesn't happen often, but sometimes it do do it. I didn't expect my NPC info gathering to come in handy so soon, Tails. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, try to... Oh my god, I'm almost done with the wrong one. Scrub. Still the wrong I have, one. Like, more names. Oh, I got it. There we go. Just had to refresh it. Hey. Press literally other frame, <laughs> but that one. Including the for everyone else didn't see any of that. Oh no! <laughs> I didn't even know. No one said anything. On his stream, it was just looking at Murda the entire time. They can't see the. Yeah. I was looking at the fucking catacombs. I was like, oh damn. I didn't, didn't even it's see like him. It's like you're invading an uh, anthill. Seriously, what it was like. Following my head. There's, these are some teeny ass corridors for six six foot tall dragonborns. Only six feet. Alright, is everyone back? Mm. Oh, yeah, tonight I need to go and fix that, because that is going to drive me insane. Oh, no. Ups her. No, uh, Shoron was one of the early tokens I made, and I messed up on it, and I just haven't fixed it yet, oh, yeah. because he wasn't being used very often. Now he is, so... <laughs> Uh, All right, so you know this is uh, going a whole lot smoother than my first time exploring a dungeon. Last time, one of my friends tried to blow me up. I was the first horrible. time we went through. To be fair, okay. Actually, no, wait, that wait, was wait. the first time it was. Yeah, that's. Guys, there's a guys there's a theme with us. Every we've been, every dungeon we've gone in, we've blown up. You know. I mean. <laughs> Wow. I forgot and about that. <laughs> and the Wii, okay? You. No, 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 no. If I remember correctly, you're the one that set off the first one. Because you oh, shot no, a rain. Arrow. Oh, yeah, rain <laughs> did. It's true. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> I'm, I'm backing away rain, from this conversation. Rain <laughs> was the one that <laughs> nearly Mark, killed my kid yeah. the first Non conversation <laughs> that's happening right now. <laughs> My character was almost my character was almost dust before the setting was even placed. But hey, oh, you want to talk about somebody trying to turn people into dust? Uh, no, it's fine. Everyone's already shaming me. It's okay. You deserve it. Uh, yeah. I mean, it is what it is. No one's dead. It's fine. Yeah. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> I did take it today. Didn't uh, didn't mean to. Forgot about it. <laughs> you. you. Well, we'll see what happens with old Will. True. <laughs> gonna be fucked. I know. Ugh. It's gonna be terrible. These were bad choices, but here we are. I could hear you smiling as I was talking, Tails. Fucking sick fuck. <laughs> you make me sound like a horrible person. I mean... <laughs> hey, I didn't say it. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, no one's dead. Exactly. I see Tails gets it. 
And that's all that matters. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, guys? Sure. <laughs> sure. All right, so... Just kidding, that's really quick. Wee. okay. Good enough. So, Gene, you are standing in front of a ladder. No idea where it goes. Is there like um like a hatch like it's on the ma uh, map or is it just empty? There is a hatch there. Uh, well, judging on how this ex place has gone first, does anyone wanna Sean wanna you know like to see if it's booby trapped again? Oh yeah, of course. Oh god. I didn't check the first one. That could have ended horribly. It doesn't seem to be trapped. Okay, we'll uh, do it like last time. I'll go first. If it holds my weight, it can hold your guys' weight. Alright, and as you all make your way down, you again hear the sound of moving water. So we're close to a river then. As far as you know. Uh, do I see anything in front of me? You see a hallway with a torch. John, would you like to do the honors? Uh, sure. And Shoran starts to walk forward. And when he gets to the end of the hall, he turns and looks and gasps. Dodging to the side, just in time. To not get hit by a spear. Uh, I see this, right? You do. I'm gonna go rushing forward. Shoran kind of calls out, We're friendly! We're not here to hurt harm you! And he's saying it in Draconic. Hmm. Uh, as we as I run up, um, I hear him saying this. It's like, he's telling the truth! We come, we come... With aid, we're not here to hurt you. We're not undead. Where do you come from? You're not part of the tribes. We come from Murda and Closa. We once were a tribe and, you know, into the portals game. The overworld's been overrun. What games are you playing yet? Can I squeeze past Shoran to see what look see what's down the uh, hallway? You can, and Shoran is glad to let you. And as you do so, you see an old dragonborn across the river holding a handful more javelins. Wait, I I speak the truth, I'm gonna show him my shield that has the platinum dragon. Sorry, I'm burping right now. The You're good. The platinum dragon uh, symbol on it. Make a like, persuasion what? check. At disadvantage, as you are an unknown outsider. Okay. We come in peace. I swear the it's not all do doom and gloom above. I'm gonna, with my hand raised, I'm gonna slowly walk forward. He readies his weapon, but seems to be holding it back. I'll stop. We right. checked the surface not too long ago. And one side was covered in undead, and the other was covered in fey. The world has made progress to, um, uh, to push back the undead. 
if you know of this town close, uh, the dead no longer walk there. Make another persuasion check. How do I know that what you say is true? Okay, one second. Uh, oh god, what can I give him as an example? Um, I'll... I can't believe I'm doing this. I'll pull out my Book of Bahamut to, uh, hopefully he'll understand that um, I got this from it was a gift from Bahamut sh you know showing that he still shows his light above there's still hope and I'll inch towards him so he can see it make another persuasion check but I also want you to make a religion check So as you hold the book up, yep, all right. So as you hold the book up, the dragonborn's eyes go wide. And he looks behind you to see Warash and Shoran starting to come behind and flank you. His eyes return to the book. And he starts to get down on one knee. Oh no. <sighs> Bahamut delivers us. We prayed for this day. We never thought it would come. Are there others out there? There are plenty. There's three. Well, there's three of us, but... Just south of the uh, the place that you collapsed, about a uh, day's ride, there is a t town that has a resistance. And uh, depending on how many of you there are, at which point Warish is starting to speak up, I can get you there very quickly. You kind of see him looking back up. I... I never would have thought. Come with me. Down this way. Uh, follow my path exactly. Can I step through the river? Is it deep, or uh, am I going to sink? Oh, you would have no problem stepping over this. Okay. It seems to be more of a running stream than a river. Okay. And as you follow him, he leads you down another way. And another and you are greeted with what seems to be hundreds and hundreds of tents. The colony of the Dragonborn. There's a lot more people than I thought. Many of us were up on the front lines, and as we were fighting, the Individuals that had more capability and magics were making a way down into the Underdark for us. We hoped that we could survive there for some time until we had a better way of building an offensive. And then we found this place. And as you make your way in there, you see... People start gathering around. How do they look? Make a medicine check. I'm gonna... I'm gonna guidance myself for this because my rolls have been really crappy. I want to try to at least do something good. <laughs> oh my god. Well, it's not going to take well, much for you to notice some of this. 
And then I'm going to throw on Detection of Poison and Disease as well. Okay. So as you do this, you're kind of going about, you start casting your spells. The gentleman's kind of looking at you strangely, but as... Uh, don't worry, I'm a, I'm a paladin. Very well. But as you're looking around at the people, you see that they're surviving. They've got what seems to be adequate food, but they're definitely a bit thin for how they would normally be from your memory. They definitely don't look nearly as healthy as any of the three of you. But you're not picking up any disease or any poison. Where are you getting uh, the food to feed all these people? Or Muhammad it's... has been providing it for us. <laughs> I'm gonna have to have a talk with Bahamut whenever I can. Cannibalism. You can talk directly with him. Well, Cannibalism. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> um. Well, we're here to help. I have an emissary own... of Bahamut. He talks directly with our lord. Shouldn't have oh, said that. Shit. And at the announcement of that, more and more are coming out of their tents. And seeing a shining paladin of Bahamut. I have a question. I'm no longer covered in that paladin, the platinum dust shit, am I? You're not. Okay. But you are still wearing your armor, I know. which is platinum in coloring, and your shield with a giant insignia of Bahamut. And you yourself glow. <laughs> Uh, I thought I only glowed whenever I was within range of undead and such. Uh, no, you glow in the dark. That's why you have the light that's always around you. Oh, okay. I always thought that I glowed because of the undead and such. I thought I was a walking uh, fucking hobbit sword. You're not like <laughs> Nihilus when she casts her stuff, like beacon of light, but you always have a perpetual glow around you. That is why everything around you within five feet is always lit up. Ah, okay. Well, why don't uh, this, this? I understand this is all quite news to you, so I understand we would most likely have to talk and everything. At which point, Warish kind of comes up. Uh, if you can start gathering your peoples, this is gonna take us a few days but I think we can take you home we'll cut back over to Murda guys I'm no longer an endangered species <laughs> we'll see what's in those tents you haven't seen nothing yet Hey, I plan on doing a thorough... Well, my detection of poison and disease hasn't gone off, so... I mean, shit. <laughs> so, are we in the tower, then, I guess? You are. Um, it is still early in the morning. What would you like to do? Are we... Who's in the room, I guess? Um, after you had left them, you had gone back up, so it would just be the three of you. Hey, hold on. I got a question, Brave. Did, um... <gasps> Did, uh, you get visited by, uh, who I warned you about? Nope. You didn't show up. Not for a whole week. Amelia? Is that like mm -hmm. her to do that? No, she's actually very punctual. Why would she? I mean, if Rakdo said to come back, or... If something else was happening... So... Did we expect to see her again, or...? I mean, I would assume so. Rockdose doesn't really forget things. I don't think I used any time shit, did I? You did, you re-rolled a thing. You re-rolled one. 
No, like that night. Make a history check. No way I did. You're very sure you did not in front of her. <laughs> okay. I, I would have very much taken notice of that. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. That's why, yeah. Um, okay. Um, shit, well. I guess my next question is, if we wait here a bit, do I feel like... I've reconnected with some way? Okay, uh... Make one more Arcana check. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not great, but... <laughs> well, it's not going to be hard for you to notice some of this, because... It takes about ten minutes. And then all of you in the room start hearing this. <gasps> Fluffy, we got another friend! Oh, no. By the I'll way, be back. what's what's that? I'll be back. Be back. Oh, okay, Amelia, before you go, she's mm -hmm. gone. She's gone. Okay. <laughs> uh, is Fluffy awake in there? Uh, do you talk to them? I'm. I'm Fluffy. Are you there? My name is not Fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Who the fuck is Fluffy? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Fluffy, it's okay, it's okay. What is your name, just out of curiosity? If it isn't Fluffy, you know? Mazavel. <laughs> oh Mazavel. shit, this shit is so fucking good, man, I swear to god. <laughs> Azabel? Mazavel. Fluffy. I'll type it. Are you enjoying Amelia in there? <laughs> Keeping you entertained? All you get back is a primal growl. <laughs> I fucking love this shit, man. <laughs> you picked a you picked a good uh <laughs> You picked a good puppy, Amelia. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Uh, hope you enjoy your stay. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gonna remember that for a long time. <laughs> yeah, well, he's bad got a puppy. Meal. Don't growl at him. That's my <laughs> job. It's my dog. My job. She, my job. She said. <laughs> oh. Uh, fuck. I like our new friend. He's fun. He didn't particularly like me, though. Oh, I'm mad at you? Yeah, a little bit. Called me some names that I haven't heard in a long time. Well, and then at this point she goes off on a massive, massive list of pretty much every slur that you have ever heard and then after all of that he just kind of told me to get the fuck out i'm not that annoying am i i don't think so see sometimes like sometimes me. though sometimes you get pretty bad but i mean like you're just saying hey to him and uh he was not here for it you know maybe mm. he remembers you from before you know you don't think i'm annoying right fluffy All you hear is some, like, low growling. Good boy. <laughs> uh, um. Yeah, I don't know how long he's going to be around for, but.
Well, I'm just glad to have a friend back because you got rid of them all. You know, it would have been nice to tell me. That you, you never had asked. More friends, you know. Well, you know, it's it's kind of like one of those things where it's like, oh, hey, these two here are boring, but you know, these. Well, I mean, most of them were here know? before me. How am I supposed to know? Am I supposed to tell you every time that I go to the bathroom too? Although I haven't really had to do that in a while, but. I'm just saying, right? I don't ask, right? And, uh, I kind of just, like, <laughs> kind of just, like, uh, look towards, uh, Eldon and Rain, and I'm like, you guys will meet Fluffy one day. <clears throat> yeah, Rain, he's so much fun. It's just like what we were talking about before, where, you know, have those fun toys. Oh, my God. Ah. Interesting, with a very confused face. Yeah, apparently there's a bunch of toys that she's, uh... He got rid of all of them, though. I only have one oh. now. Hey, yeah. you have two. Speaking Fluffy which, doesn't count. I can't go into his dreams. Plus one soul. <laughs> plus one. Can't go into Fluffy's dreams? But he's there with you? So he's like the other two, kind of, but not really? Yeah, he's more boring. You can't go in the other two's dreams, can you? No. Although... I don't think I want to go into his... Pointing to the shadow, or yeah, she's pointing at shadow. <sighs> Honestly, I think he tells me less than you do, and that's uh, that's kind of surprising, you know. I mean, I tell you a lot. I tell yeah, you I know everything. you do tell me a lot. Yeah, you don't tell me everything. <laughs> you tell me everything later. Well, when you ask about it. I'm okay. an That's open fine. book. If you just talk to me, maybe I'd be able to tell you things, but I don't know what you want to know. That's true. <clears throat> oh, by the way, Rain, mm -hmm. I would advise against trying to peer into my mind. Yeah. When oh, I we already had a good chat last time. It was a lot of fun. Oh, okay, you already... Do, do I hear that? Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh, how you doing? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> yeah, she likes going for, um, vacations. Indeed. Actually, it would be a lot of fun being in your body. Because you do the shifty things, right? Only on Tuesdays? <laughs> Can I go into her body next Tuesday? I'm just, I'm not responding to that. I'm waiting for Nihilus' mom to come back up. <laughs> I've, I, I have nothing to say to her anymore. <laughs> and at this point, it takes a few minutes more, but Nihilus' mom comes back up. She just gives you a nod. Alright, well. We've got a few thousand of these to start making. I don't suppose either of you have any magic of use, do you? Looking at Rain and Eldon. What type of magic? Banishment, Maybe. preferably. No. Nope. Uh, I'll leave that to them. I kind of nod to uh, Paris. Well, this is going to take a while. Yep. Real, is it really just the three of us that can be doing this? Oh, they're working on another project. I'm trying to get a larger version working. But these can be held by anybody, including those that are less magically capable, at which point she flings one at rain. Is it... How big is the radius? 
single. Single target, whatever it hits. You, dear. Go ahead and throw it at the imp. At which point, she snaps her fingers, and an imp appears in the cage. I throw it at imp. Okay. Uh, go ahead and make a dexterity throw. Or uh, athletics check. Athletics. athletics. Can I do acrobatics? Um, tell me dex. how you're being acrobatics to be accurate with your throw. You said dex. That's mm. all I'm saying. I did. <laughs> so... Acrobatics. I would be instead of using my strength to do it, I would be maneuvering my body, moving it in a way <laughs> where, it's, <laughs> where it's very accurate. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was I'm not throwing it, I'm just moving and making it leave my hand argument. <laughs> In a very accurate way. You know, here, how about this? Go ahead and make a weapon attack. And let's see how it goes. Weapon attack? Because when you throw your psychic darts, it's basically the same thing. Is it like, uh, what do we, how do we, unarmed attack? So or? just your normal nature form attack. But we're not worrying about the damage. We're just looking at the... Okay. Yes. So as the bead leaves your hand, you don't feel any connection to it or you don't feel any magic being used until it actually hits its target, at which point the imp vanishes. And the best part about it, the ball hold, takes care of the concentrating on the spell. It only works once. So there's no point in using it again. But once the creature's gone, the creature's gone. Pretty good. But is mm -hmm. it still work the same way? Or they just come back to our plane? Or they're from our plane if they're from our plane yes although i'm hoping you're not throwing them at other people no too often they're was, a pain in the ass to build it was it was a curiosity i look really pointedly at Aris. what with my eyebrow slightly uh raised noted Keep track of everyone he works on. What do you mean? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Oh, dear me. Between you and my daughter, you'll be the death of me. <laughs> Although somewhat literally. I don't know what to tell you. Like... I'm here. I'm I'm trying to help. And around this time, Nihilus would be concluding her conversation with Kyrie. And Kyrie flies off to the north. And at this point, Nihilus, what would you like to do? Am I still... Where am I? You are currently beside your fallen temple with a floating ship. Uh, did she explain how it works? Is it secure? Should I stay here? She did. Uh, she mentioned that the only individuals that could drive this uh, machine are yourself, her followers, and... All, all six of them? All six of them. Mm -hmm. and the only other individual would be anybody that you unlock it for okay I'm gonna send in Rumok uh hey got you a new toy 
I don't think you'll be bored anymore. Come north of the city. Oh. Very well. I'll be right there. And I'll wait for him to get there and hope Varus comes to fix my temple soon. Okay. And Varus actually is the first to come. And it is horrifying I to see him come up. Us. Let's see how this goes. Oh, Jesus. And he gets advantage on these. Okay. He starts to work on it. Doesn't quite start shifting the way he wants. So he's going to cast his... Can I help you a little bit? You look like you're struggling. I got it. I got it. Hold on. But I could help. <laughs> he starts to shift it. And you know that look that somebody gets when they're lifting something ridiculously heavy and it looks like they're about to crap themselves? Yep. That's essentially what he looks like as he picks up the temple and starts to shift it and lets it fall to the ground to start writing itself. Oh, yeah, I probably shouldn't have shown you this part. Yep. Yep. Don't worry, it's very hard to damage. Sure. <laughs> just please. I'm just gonna I'm gonna not watch. Thank you. Was there any people in your church whenever you had tipped it over? No. And you have a decently large gathering now because airship's a little bit out there for people here. And this was a place that a lot of wizards from the tower were coming anyways. And they immediately started telling their friends in the tower and other places that something weird just came out. And now seeing Voris quite literally heaving a temple, <laughs> they're they're enjoying the spectacle. I just make sure everybody stays back so nobody gets hurt. And you don't have to tell them twice. <laughs> and he eventually is able I to write the temple. Probably could have given him a D4 on any one of those rolls and made it easier. <laughs> You very much could have, but you kind of get the feeling that he was doing the whole like manly pride thing of like, no, I'm here to do a job. She told me to, and I'm going to do it. <laughs> Varus, can you make sure it's permanently attached this time? Varus? Varus. Oh, Varus. Uh, I am looking at I, flame. I got to get it up Boris. there first. Can you bring it down? I don't know if I can. T well, I could toss it up there. I don't think you'd be happy. I'm assuming with me if I, I would have landed it before I got off the ship. Oh, okay, I thought I was assuming you were still on it. Oh, am I still on it? As far as I know. Oh, then yeah, I'll land it. <laughs> okay, so yeah, you land the ship, um, and he is able to kind of write it there. All right, I'll make sure it's attached well. I'll wait for Rumok to get here. Okay. And it doesn't take much longer. Rumok shows up and you see like kid in a candy store like <gasps> which looks really weird on a Gith Yankee. <laughs> but he is very happy seeing the airship. You weren't kidding. I wasn't. Did you I'm sorry, did you take me as a kidder? Uh you did try to have a drinking contest with him. I wasn't a real drinking contest. We were telling stories. Oh. But come on, teach me how to fly this thing. Absolutely. At which point he gets up on the ship and starts to train you on how to do some very interesting maneuvers. Oh, I would like yeah. two intelligence checks. I'm going to guidance both of these. Are they just straight intel checks? Mm-hmm. I can't use anything. <laughs> 100% guidance in these. Yep. 
Oh, awesome. It's a great start. Okay. So at first, he starts teaching you a whole bunch of different things, and you put your hands on the orb and try to think through all the different things he was telling you to think through, and you almost crash the ship. He very quickly wrestles control away and instead starts teaching you, let's move forward. Now let's move backwards. Now let's move up. Now let's down move down into small words. And with that, you very quickly start to catch on on how to do a lot of this process. But it's definitely still teen driver, but capable. You can definitely make it go from point A to point B. And it doesn't take any of my strength. It's all pulling from the orb. It is pulling from the orb. Cool. So you gonna help us close some portals? Well, I mean, that's the plan. Uh, who else do you think would be best to bring? We don't have a whole lot of room on the ship. And obviously my team's coming. That is definitely a conversation we should have, but I don't think now is the best time since there's quite a few things we need to get situated first. Predominantly, the portal that's actively being worked on. Obviously, we would go there first. Is this... Probably should have another meeting here in maybe a week with the factions and decide the team we're taking. That would be smart. Let's plan on that then. It feels so good to be behind a spell jammer again. This is a spell jammer? It is. A very hybrid design spell jammer, but one all the same. And that's what you used to fly back in Orth? He kind of looks almost insulted. And then I wrote down the name corrects the himself. Ship. Not from the thing, but that you are comparing this ship to his ship. Oh. <laughs> this will work. It'll work. <laughs> well, I hope it makes it feel a little bit more like home at least <laughs> alright oh, yeah I just wrote captain and airship I didn't write anything else down he didn't give you very much in the way of details about his ship oh, Okay. but you're judging from this conversation that he probably had a very nice ship before but what that would mean or what that would even constitute is beyond your understanding I would honestly probably spend uh, the evening until dinner just learning what I can about the spell jammer from him. Okay, perfect. Um, the rest of you, as you're in the tower, you realize Nihilus doesn't seem to be coming back. I mean, you car guys, I'm sorry. I uh, have my plans. I'm gonna just chill there. Uh, actually, I what I will do is I'm gonna shoot out ascending to. Uh, this and be like <clears throat> uh, before I use up all my um, I'm gonna send her and say uh, checking in how's things uh, do you know or sorry how far how long until you guys return back to Murda. <laughs> Dad said he will talk to you. 23. All right. We're good. The druids came through and cleaned up the land. We should be back in a week. All 
right. So Eldon and Rain, would you guys like to do anything? We were with Aris, right? Mm-hmm. They seem to be working on making more banishment gems. So if you both want to just sit and watch, they don't seem to be stopping you. But if you wanted to accomplish something else, you definitely could. We need to be in the tower? No. I would like to keep doing what I've been doing. Okay. Same. If I haven't you know, had a chance to do that today. <laughs> you have not. Oh, um... I take it, Eldon, that was, uh, or, well, clear, that's what. Boat. Uh. Uh, yes. All right, that's good. All right. Uh, Rain, which target would you like to target? Target? Wait, which target? one? Are you doing the thing you were doing first thing in the morning or the other part? I'm going with the last two ones. Okay. Yeah. All right. So go ahead and give me an investigation check along with two D10s. Rain going out hunting. I get two D tens. All right. So you find yourself another bar that looks uh, welcoming, and you're able to get a hundred and thirty gold over the night. Is that what you've been doing? It's just stealing people's gold? No, I'm just <clears throat> you don't laying know. low. I don't know. Just <laughs> laying low, quote unquote. Is it 130? Mm hmm. And it's still um... stop over, right? Or. Oh, wait, this is still the next day? Yeah, this is all still the same day. Oh. So you would be doing this for the afternoon and evening. Okay. So can I do either one of them or? Um. Yes, you would be able to do those as well. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Uh, give me two intelligence checks. And Eldon, give me two intelligence checks. I need... Wow. Why me? Oh, actually, you can only do the first one because the second one, they are not there. They are busy elsewhere. Ah. Uh. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> not sure either. Wait. Oh, okay, okay. Never mind, never mind. Uh, okay. yeah. But yeah, you can do the first part. Um, doesn't to... seem to be any new inv uh, things learned there, but they're continuing to do their search. They have not found what you're looking for yet, though. Okay. All right. Um, Eldon, I need one more intelligence roll from you and this is for your thing that you're doing okay that was not by the way um you do very well after a little bit of uh brute forcing your way through but you seem to be gaining a better understanding of it um you also are able to impart some knowledge on the other end as well excellent all right. Not terrible. And at this point, the entire region and 
possibly even world, starts to shake. As the rumbling begins, it gets more and more concentrated. Nihilus, you don't notice it at first because you are in an airship, but eventually, even you start to notice the ground shaking. But the biggest thing that tips you off is far off to the northeast, as beams of light start to flash out off in the horizon, going high, high into the sky. And three moons take up residence over it. Moons that seem far too close. You didn't need me to make an in checker. Nope. And as the moons get into the sky the world stops rumbling, resettling. The shield seems to have been placed and the six months begins now. Oh shit. Then we have a... And and that's where we're going to end tonight. I'm assuming the break is going to continue because we'll be spending time getting prepared. Correct. Okay. 